Hi, uh, so uh, today we will start a, a new module called uh, generalized uh, linear models and uh, here is the content of this uh, module. Uh, first, uh, we will talk about uh, exponential family of distributions and uh, then fitting generalized linear models and uh, logistic uh, regression models. Okay, so, before I uh, start this uh, module, um, I want to recall we talked about a module called uh, transformation and uh, weighting to uh, correct a model inadequacy. And uh, there we have studied something called generalized uh, list square of which uh, weighted list square is a particular case. And uh, the generalized list square is concerned about the application of ordinary list square technique uh, in situation where uh, y equal to x beta plus epsilon, this is the model and uh, expectation of epsilon is equal to 0. Uh, but variance of epsilon is equal to sigma square into v. So, this v is the uh, variance covariance matrix of uh, the error term uh, which cannot be written uh, in the form sigma square into i. Uh, so, let me uh, write this thing in detail. So, the generalized uh, List square so uh, this one is concerned about the application of uh, ordinary list square technique uh, in the situation where uh, y equal to uh, x beta plus epsilon with uh, expectation of epsilon is equal to 0 and uh, variance of this epsilon, this is the variance covariance matrix is equal to sigma square into v. And this cannot be written as as sigma square i. Okay. So, uh, as we have studied that you know this happened when, uh, when the observations y have unequal variances and or observations are correlated. That is why you know in this uh, variance covariance matrix V, the uh, of diagonal elements are uh, not equal to 0. So, in either case you know uh, the conditions of uh, Gauss Markov theorems are violated. So, the least square estimate that is beta hat equal to x prime x inverse x prime y is not the best linear unbiased estimator. So, uh, here you know uh, we have studied in the generalized list square, uh, we have studied uh, a transformation on this model to, to get the best linear unbiased estimator. And 
also in, in that module uh, that is you know transformations and waiting to correct uh, model inadequacy, uh, we uh, talked about uh, variance uh, stabilizing transformation, uh, which deals with the situation when the response variable uh, are having you know uh, inequality in, in variance. Okay. So, uh, the generalized least square technique sorry the generalized uh, linear models that is uh, G L M analysis comes into play when the error distribution is not normal. So, the <coughs> distribution of error is not normal or which is uh, equivalent to say that uh, the distribution of response variable is, is not normal. In that case, we need to use uh, generalized linear model. So, you, you should understand the difference between the generalized linear model and the uh, gener generalized, uh, uh, generalized least squared, because uh, generalized least squared is uh, is used to uh, deal with uh, non-constant variance in uh, in the response variable, or of course when the uh, observations are correlated. Whereas you know the, this generalized linear model uh, is used when the error distribution is uh, non-normal. Okay, so either the error distribution is not normal and or when a vector of nonlinear functions of the response of the responses that is eta y which is equal to eta y 1 eta y 2 and uh, it uh, y n this vector and not uh, y itself has expectation x beta. So, I am not in position to you know explain this uh, thing at this moment, but uh, what I can say here is that uh, uh, in case of multiple linear regression model, we consider the model y equal to x beta plus epsilon, which is same as we consider the model like expectation of y is equal to x beta because of the fact that expectation of epsilon is equal to 0. So, in the usual linear model expectation of y is equal to x beta. Okay? So, that can be written in, in a linear combination of the regression coefficients, but here uh, you cannot this is not true. So, uh, 
here instead of expectation of y equal to x beta, there exists a nonlinear function that is eta, maybe eta y, expectation of eta y is equal to x beta. Anyway, we will we'll come to this point uh, uh, at the end of this uh, topic or module. So, let me let, uh, mention one more thing when we use uh, uh, now this generalized linear model in generalized linear model G L M the response variable distribution is not normal that is what we know I mean uh, if it is not normal then we go for a generalized linear model, but the response variable distribution must be a member of the exponential family. Okay. So, uh, next uh, what we will do is that we will we'll, we'll learn uh, what we mean by this uh, uh, exponential family. So, the exponential family of distribution. Okay. So, a random variable u here we uh, denote you know uh, random variable by u usually we use the notation x or y uh, that belongs to the exponential family with a single parameter theta has a probability density function f u theta, which is uh, of the form S u t theta into e to the power of A u b theta. Okay. So, if uh, the p d f of the random variable u is of this form, then we say that the distribution is in the exponential family, uh, where s t a b are all known functions. Okay. So, let me rewrite this uh, uh, p d f So, I can write this f u theta as exponential a u b theta and then plus 
d u plus c theta okay where where d u is equal to ln s u. So, this is a uh, log base e and uh, and c theta is equal to ln t theta. Right. Okay. Uh, so uh, the PDF of uh, of a random variable u, which is in the exponential family, can be written in this form. And when when a u is equal to u, that's when a u is a identity function the distribution if the distribution is said to be in canonical form form and this is important this b theta b theta is called the called natural parameter b theta is called natural parameter okay and uh, also there could be you know uh, several parameters uh, uh, in a distribution like if you consider say binomial distribution, uh, it has two parameters one is uh, n which is the total number of trials and uh, p or the uh, p is the probability of success in one trial. So, uh, here we need to decide which one is the parameter of interest if, if p is the parameter of interest then the other parameter n is called uh, nuisance parameter. So, let me write it uh, formally. So, parameters other than the parameter of interest theta are called nuisance parameter. Are called nuisance parameters. Okay. So, let me uh, talk about uh, uh, some members of the exponential families. Okay. So, the first one is is say normal distribution. with uh, parameter mu and uh, sigma square right so you know that uh, the pdf of now see you know whether the pdf of normal distribution which is uh, f u mu so i'm writing f 
u mu because u is the random variable uh, and mu is the parameter of interest here and sigma square is a nuisance parameter. So, uh, let me see whether this pdf can be written in that form. So, this one is equal to 1 by root over of 2 pi sigma square into e to the power of minus half u minus mu by sigma square and you know that this u is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, uh, whether I can write this uh, in this form say exponential, you can check that this is uh, u into mu by sigma square plus minus mu square by 2 sigma square minus half ln 2 pi sigma square. So, I will put this in bracket minus u square by 2 sigma square. Okay. So, this term is, is, is coming from here and uh, these three are basically uh, this exponent here. Okay. Now, here uh, now I need to identify all my this uh, a u b theta c theta and d u. So, here I can see that a u is equal to u, this is a u and b theta is mu by sigma square and uh, what is c theta? c theta, in fact c mu, but you know the theta stands for uh, the parameter of interest. So, here the parameter of interest is mu and this involves mu. So, c theta is equal to minus mu square by 2 sigma square minus half log 2 pi sigma square and uh, and uh, d u is equal to minus u square by sigma square. So, since uh, a u is equal to u, so normal distribution is in uh, canonical form and uh, this is the natural parameter mu is the mu by sigma square is uh, the natural I mean in fact, mu is the natural parameter because mu is is the parameter of uh, interest. Okay. So, next uh, we will I mean basically we will try to uh, write down uh, many uh, distributions which are in the exponential family. Uh, the next one is uh, see binomial distribution. So, u follows binomial distribution with parameter n and p and p is the uh, parameter of interest and n is the nuisance parameter. So, here uh, we call probability mass function, but uh, if uh, u p as you know this is uh, n c u. So, here uh, the u stands for the number of successes in in n trials when the probability of success in 
uh, is uh, is p. Okay, so uh, the probability mass function is n c u p to the power of u and into one minus p to the power of n minus u. And this u, the range of u is the number of successes could be zero, one, and it could be up to n out of n trials. Okay, now see whether this can be you know written in in the uh, exponential form, you know that uh, the form we talked about. So this is equal to n c u. I can write this as p by one minus p to the power of u one minus p to the power of n. Now let me write this as exponential u <coughs> log uh, p by 1 minus p plus n log 1 minus p plus log n c u. Okay. So, let me identify now the functions a u here is equal to u b theta which is the natural parameter b theta is l n. I repeat again this natural parameter is uh, important thing. Uh, we need uh, to know what is the natural parameter for a particular distribution. So, b theta is the natural parameter which is log p by 1 minus p is the natural parameter and uh, of course, then c theta is n ln 1 minus p and d u is equal to ln n c u. So, this does not involve any uh, parameter of interest. Okay. So, c theta means it, it should involve the parameter of interest in this function. So, the parameter of interest is p. So, c theta is uh, this quantity okay. and also this uh, binomial distribution is in the in canonical form. Uh, next, uh, we will talk about uh, Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, and you know that uh, the probability density function for Poisson is uh, f uh, u lambda is equal to e to the power of minus lambda lambda to the power of u by u factorial and here u is 0 1 up to infinity and uh, this can be written as exponential u ln lambda minus lambda minus ln log u factorial. Okay. So, clearly here my a u is equal to u. So, it is in canonical form my b theta is log lambda. So, this is the parameter of uh, so this is this is natural parameter and my c theta is equal to minus lambda and uh, d u is equal to minus ln u factorial and here is the natural parameter. Okay. So, this is uh, regarding the Poisson distribution. So, it is in the exponential family. Uh, next, uh, let me talk about uh, number 4 gamma distribution. Okay. 
okay? uh, with the parameter theta of interest and uh, alpha as nuisance parameter. And here is the PDF. So, if u theta is equal to theta to the power of alpha u to the power of alpha minus 1 e to the power of minus theta u by gamma alpha. Okay. So, here uh, all this uh, alpha and theta they are greater than 0 and u is greater than equal to 0. Now, you write it in the exponential form. So, exponential minus theta u plus alpha log theta minus log gamma alpha. You put them in one bracket because this is basically the beta b, b theta plus alpha minus 1 ln u is coming from here. Right. So, now you can identify that you know this is uh, your a u is equal to u, b theta is equal to minus theta and this is equal to this is c theta and uh, d u. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, called exponential distribution. exponential distribution. So, here the p d f of this exponential distribution f u theta, which is obtained by just putting alpha equal to 1 here. So, this is theta into e to the power of minus theta u. So, u is greater than equal to 0 and theta is greater than 0. So, this can be written as exponential minus u theta plus ln theta. Okay. So, you understood that you know the uh, a u equal to u and b theta equal to uh, theta and uh, c theta equal to log n theta. Right. So, the natural parameter here. So, here uh, b theta is equal to theta, which is a natural parameter. Okay. So, uh, we are almost done. Next, we will talk about one more distribution, which is called the negative binomial distribution. So, negative binomial negative binomial distribution. So, I hope that you know you understand uh, the experiment here. Um, the variable u is the number of failures observed <coughs> to attain our successes. In binomial trial, with the 
probability of success theta and then uh, the probability mass function for this one can be written as f u theta is equal to r plus u minus 1 c r minus 1. Uh, I hope you understand uh, why this is this is the probability mass function theta to the power of r 1 minus theta to the power of u. So, u the number of failures before uh, to obtain r successes uh, it can be it can start from 0 1 anything. Okay. So, this can be uh, my concern is to check whether uh, this uh, negative binomial distribution uh, this uh, is in the exponential family or not. So, this is uh, exponential u log 1 minus theta plus r log theta plus ln r plus u minus 1 c r minus 1. Okay. So, you must have understood that you know here my a u is equal to u my b theta is equal to ln 1 minus theta. So, so the natural parameter is this is the natural parameter I am talking about every time because uh, this is uh, this is important uh, to for the uh, generalized uh, linear model and uh, my c theta is of course, r ln theta and uh, c d u is equal to ln r plus u minus 1 c r minus 1. So, this uh, uh, shows that uh, the negative binomial distribution is, uh, is uh, in the exponential family. Okay. So, next we will talk about uh, the expected value and variance of this uh, a u. So, expected value and uh, variance of a u. So, I am not going to derive it uh, in terms of uh, c theta and uh, b theta. So, you can check that uh, this e of a u the expected value of this uh, function is equal to minus c prime theta by b prime theta and the variance of a u is equal to b double prime theta c prime theta minus c double prime theta. So, this is this stands for the double derivative of c theta with respect to theta. So, b prime theta by b prime theta to the power of 3. Just uh, you know uh, you believe me this is correct. Uh, I am just giving one example, uh, example of uh, say binomial. Uh, in case of binomial, you just check that uh, we had this uh, a u equal to u and we had b theta the natural parameter that was log p by 1 minus p and uh, c theta c theta was 
uh, n log n 1 minus p. Okay. Now, if you compute uh, uh, say, so you, you know b theta, so you can compute b, b prime theta that is equal to 1 by p into 1 minus p and also you can compute uh, b double prime theta double derivative that is twice p minus 1 by p into 1 minus p whole square and similarly you do for c theta. So, c prime theta is equal to minus n by 1 minus p c double prime theta is equal to minus n 1 minus p whole square. So, now you can check uh, that uh, you know that for binomial distribution expectation of u is n p. So, you can check that expectation of a u which is nothing but for binomial it is expectation of u which is equal to minus c prime theta. So, that is n by 1 minus p by b theta. So, that is p into 1 minus p. So, that is n p. We know that for binomial distribution uh, expected value is n p and you can check that uh, variance of variance of a u is equal to variance of u here which is equal to n p into 1 minus p. You just put uh, plug all this uh, here. Okay. So, this is a sort of you know uh, uh, preparing uh, preparation for the generalized uh, uh, least square because uh, we told that you know generalized least square is used when the distribution of uh, response variable is not normal, but it is the distribution is from the exponential family. So, we now we have you know idea about which distributions are uh, maybe this is not the exhaustive list, but we know some distribution which are in the uh, exponential family like binomial, Poisson, normal, gamma, uh, exponential, negative binomial. These are the example we, we just proved that they are, they are in the exponential family. Now, the thing is that suppose you have a set of observation like x i y i and the response variable y i is not in normal and it is say from it is from the binomial distribution. The y i follows binomial with parameter n i p i. So, p i is the parameter of interest and uh, n i is the nu nuisance parameter. Then how to uh, deal with such situation? Because till now we know that you know we talked about only if uh, y follows normal then uh, using the Gauss Markov theorem uh, normal and also independent identical distributed. Then by Gauss Markov theorem we, we know that the least square estimate uh, provides the best linear unbiased estimator for the regression coefficients. So, now we will talk about uh, how to fit you know generalized linear model uh, in the situation when the response variable is not normal, but it is, uh, it is uh, the distribution of the response variable for is from uh, ex exponential family. Okay. So, here is uh, uh, the fitting of fitting generalized linear model. Okay, as I told, suppose we have a set of independent 
observations. Suppose my observations are y i x i. So, y i x i. So, if you consider one regressor, then it is a simple uh, regression, but uh, I can generalize it, I, I can make it a vector. So, this is my ith observation and then with this vector is say it, it has it consists of r regress uh, say p regressors. So, uh, this is my observation uh, for for i equal to 1 to n. So, I have n observations on the response variable y i and there are several regressors. Let me write this what is this x i prime is that uh, it is uh, x i 1, x i 2, x i p. That means, uh, it is a p component vector, right. Uh, and we have a set of independent observations from some exponential type distribution of canonical form that means, uh, that is uh, uh, a y is equal to y. Okay. Then, the joint probability density function is so, I have n observations I just uh, and they are independent. So, the joint probability density function is uh, f y 1, y 2, y n and theta and phi. So, this one is uh, this joint probability density function is nothing but the product of uh, marginals. So, this one is equal to and uh, you know that uh, the, it, this observation is from the exponential type distribution. So, this I can write as exponential y i b theta. I can write this because uh, the a u sorry a y is equal to y that is why uh, plus c theta i plus d y i, but this is the p d f only for the i th uh, observations and once you are multiplying this uh, marginals uh, here just you have to put a summation here for i equal to 1 to n, i equal to 1 to n, i equal to 1 to n. So, where uh, this uh, phi is a vector of nuisance parameter. that uh, occurs within within b c and uh, d okay and uh, my theta is uh, theta 1, theta 2, theta n 
uh, vectors of parameter of interest. Okay. Uh, now, what we want is that, so we talked about the joint PDF and uh, the variation, the variation in y in response variable y i can be explained in terms of x i values. Okay, let me give some time, I uh, will try to explain what uh, uh, this what is the difference between this generalized linear model and then linear model. So, here my x is in the uh, regressor variables. So, this is basically x i 1, x i 2, x i p. So, I want to explain the variability in y using the regressor variable. Right? That is what the we want to find relation between the response variable and the regressor variable. This is the whole purpose of this uh, course also. Uh, consider the parameters that mean regression coefficients. Consider the set of parameters beta which is equal to beta 1, beta 2, beta p prime. Okay. Now, what we do is that we, we find some suitable link function. This is important link function say g such that g of mu i is equal to x i prime beta. Okay, let me just uh, uh, explain now. Uh, see, in usual case, what happens is that we consider the model. So, what is this mu i? Mu i is expectation of y i. So, in usual case, what happens is that we consider the model y i equal to say x i prime beta plus epsilon. And then of course, expectation of y i in the ordinary case is equal to x i prime beta that is all. But here, if the response variable is not in normal, if it is from some exponential family, then then x prime y sorry x prime b uh, the regressor variable explain the variability in g mu y. So, this is nothing but you know g of expectation of y i. So, here instead of writing expectation of y i is equal to x prime beta, we write g of expectation of y equal to x prime beta. Okay. And this link function, a link function that is often regarded as a sensible one is is natural parameter is 
natural parameter. So, I will talk about this again in the next class, but uh, let me say just if this uh, response variable is from is following binomial distribution, then here this link function will be uh, there the link function was uh, or the that will be the natural parameter. So, that is uh, l n p by 1 minus p which will be equal to x i x i prime beta. And in case of in case of normal distribution, uh, we know the natural parameter is mu. So, in case of normal distribution this g mu is nothing but mu. So, uh, when we assume that y follows normal distribution, we can just write expectation of y i is equal to, we can go with this model. But for the other distribution, uh, we need to choose this g function, this link function which is nothing but a natural parameter. Okay, so, uh, we will we'll be talking about uh, this uh, again in the next class. So, today we have to stop now. Thank you.